Awesome. Well, hey, super excited to be here tonight. For those that have never met me before or recently brand new to the IML family, to this organization, uh, welcome to the team. My name is uh, Mike Sotero, a Chairman 10 here within this organization, within iMarkets Live. I've uh, been involved now for about 15, 16 months, about 16 months, June, July of last year. And I can tell you that this, this call on Sundays is one of the most important calls that you'll get on every week. See, this call has been happening every single Sunday. Hey, drop the number one if you guys can hear me. It says internet unstable. Uh, drop the number one in the chat box. Everybody can hear me clearly. They can see me. Okay, awesome. Everybody can hear me. So this call has been happening literally every single Sunday. And guys, it's the same Zoom code, the same time. So for every customer that you add to your team, to your organization that gets started, it's the same link, same time, every Sunday. Either I'm hosting it or one of the top leaders in this team is hosting it. So uh, first off, I want to say welcome to the team. You know, going to kind of start off this call a little bit different. Going to go a little bit backwards today. Uh, we're going to go over the, some announcements that are happening uh, really, really soon within iMarkets Live. So let's go ahead and open up the first announcement. Uh, for those that have not seen, on November 7th, the crypto, uh, basically the crypto mining details will be released. November 7th, 9 o'clock Eastern. I would put this in your calendar now. When, when crypto mining launches, if you don't know what crypto mining is, don't worry about it. You'll get the information on this, on this call. But when this drops in the next 30, 60 days, it is going to be crazy. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, drop the number five if you're excited and you, and you understand the power of crypto mining. Drop the number five real quick in the chat box. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just, I just can't control my excitement. I'm going to be very calm on this call. Uh, but I'm telling you that when crypto mining drops, it's about to be absolutely, let me mute this stuff, absolutely crazy. As you all know, we have Swipe Point 2.0 that just got released or that's getting released, excuse me, uh, in the next few weeks and uh, 12,000 pips the first few months. So that's the first announcement. The second announcement, uh, just really, really briefly, is for people that live in South Florida. Tomorrow night and Wednesday night, we have Mr. Luke Longmire and Mr. Lozado. Basically, we're gonna be trading with the Gold Cup Masters. Tomorrow is an introduction to trading, introduction to Gold Cup. Uh, so you can bring prospects, you can bring your friends, and then Wednesday night at the office, our brand new office in Miami, the address is right here on the bottom. We have a brand new office in Miami, so definitely you want to be there. Uh, anybody who brings four or more guests to uh, tomorrow's event uh, 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 in, the, in the office, I'm going to be giving them, let me unshare this, a success planner. So if you live in South Florida, this is just listen up real quick. I'm going to be giving you a success planner tomorrow show up with four or more guests and you will get a success planner from me. So those are the quick two announcements. Now what we're gonna talk about on this call, um, we're gonna go over this briefly, then we're gonna take a look at Gold Cup, we're gonna look, look, take a look at the Harmonic Scanner, and then write this down. Tonight there is no Night Owl session, but Project 500 will be hosting a Night Owl session with some of the traders inside the group at 11 p.m. Eastern. So at 11 p.m. Eastern, you're going to see a, a, a Zoom link. Uh, Mr. Dylan Maya is going to drop a Zoom link at 11 o'clock. So one more time, no night owl session with Chris Terry. I believe he has a cold or he's traveling right now. So next week, he'll be back on the charts. Don't worry. Everybody remain calm. Uh, tonight, we're going to host one within this organization at 11 o'clock Eastern. So make sure to get plugged in on that. We will take a look at some charts on this call as well toward the end. So. We're going to get straight into it. You know, this is something that I had a mentor teach me years ago. Um, and, and it doesn't really matter what you do in life. Leadership is the highest paid profession, right? Trading, you can make a lot of money. In, in, in a lot of things, you can make a lot of money. But from what I've seen, the highest paid profession is always leadership. So tonight, I encourage you guys to take notes. Drop the number two in the chat box if you're taking notes right now. Uh, if you're taking notes right now, I want, I want you to tag, uh, I want you to post something on your Instagram story with, with you posting notes and, and taking a look at the Zoom call tonight to really show people that you're serious about learning, right? Every time, we're going to talk about this at the end, but every time you guys are, are around the environment, every time you guys are, you know, with the team, 
you know, learning this skill set. You know, it's okay to post some things, right? You don't need to post everything. You don't need to post every single meeting you do or in every single, you know, IML TV session you watch. But people are always watching. And people join people that are growing. People follow people that know where they're going. So this is a training that I haven't done in a very long time. I used to do it once a month uh, in, in my old company. But uh, he, here's, here, here's the truth. John Maxwell talks about there's five levels of leadership. Can everybody see it clearly? Uh, just say yes or no. Can everybody see this picture clearly? Can everybody read it? Okay. Now, some of you on this call are platinum 150s. Some of you on this call are platinum 600s, yep, platinum 1000s. Some of you have no team right now. And that's not a bad place to be because you can learn this. And as you grow an organization, you can master this and build it the right way. All right. So there's five levels in leadership. Five levels. So number one, it's the position, right? Uh, some of you have jobs, right? Maybe you're an employee. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But by default, you have a manager or a district manager or somebody above you that they're a type one leader. Just because they have a title, they think they're a leader, right? Some of you know what I'm talking about. Write this down. Let me use the white, I'm gonna go back and forth between that and the whiteboard. Write this down. A title is the lowest form of leadership. All right? So a title, right? Just because somebody is a, is a platinum 600 or a platinum 1000 does not make them a leader. Just because somebody is a platinum 2000 or a chairman 10, a title, somebody, just because somebody is a manager or a district manager or a regional manager does not mean that they're a leader. All right? A title is the lowest form of leadership, right? Don't tell me, show me. All right, I'm a big believer that you can only talk a certain amount until you have to actually show me some results, right? The Bible says, judge a man or a woman by the fruit, right? By the fruit that they bear. So a type one, write this down, a type one leader is a position leader, meaning people follow them because they have to. People follow them because they're forced to. People follow them because if they don't follow them, they're not going to get a paycheck. And that's a, that's a place and, and that's, that's a position that you don't want to be in for long, right? You don't want to have to listen to somebody because your check depends on it, okay? Now, the type two level of leadership is the permission level. People follow you because they want to, right? Maybe you're, you have a friendship with somebody. Maybe you have a... Uh, People in your business that you grew up with and you're a type two level leader. Nothing wrong with that, but there's three more levels that you have to get to, right? Number two is permission level. I'm not going to focus there too much. Now, level three is where you start to make the real money, right? Level three is where you start to go platinum 1000. Level three is where you start to see real results in this business. It's where you start to lead people right? Leadership. Lead your ship. Okay? So number three is production. Production, here's what it says. People follow because of what you're doing for the organization, right? Because of what you're doing for the team, what you're doing for the people around you. At level three, you really focus on this. Oh, one, one second. Let's go back to the whiteboard. You really focus on an understanding that it's people over profits. Now, don't get me twisted. We all are going to get profits. We all want profits trading. I'm not talking about trading for right now. I'm talking about leadership. I'm talking about how do you build this thing big? Look, if you don't want to create residual income, if I could be honest on tonight's call, the only reason people say that is because they've never experienced it. They've never actually had it. Most people have to trade the time for money to get paid. Well, how cool would it be to go to work for five years and to never have to work again and your income keeps coming in, right? I have friends that are 23, 24. I'm 24 years old. And, and they tell me, well, I can't wait to get my pension in 30 years. In, in how many years? In, in 30? 
in 30 years? Why not go to work on your own dream? Why not go start something here? Why not go learn a skill set? And in three to five, even if it took you 10 years, you can be completely free. So at the level three type leader, at the production level, you're getting results. You're helping people grow. You're helping people make money. At this point, you're starting to have some success. You're starting to, to start hosting your own trading calls. At level three, you're hosting your own home events, <clears throat> right? Shout out to, I think I saw uh, on Instagram, you know, Rupert today hosted a trading event at his house. He didn't call, hey, Mike, do, should I do? No, he's doing it. He's not waiting to have success. <clears throat> he's going after what he wants. That's why he's getting results. So at level three, people follow you because of what you're doing for the team. Now, level four is where I went from maybe, if you want to put numbers on this, from one to two grand a month to four to five to six grand a month. Now, level four, you start to reproduce, right? At level four, you start to have duplication in your team. And I want, as I'm talking, I want you to think, and some of you right now don't have an organization or you don't have a team yet, and that's okay. But, I, but some of you do. And I want you to think how much reproduction is going on, right? How much duplication on your team is going on? So at level four, this is where you're developing leaders. This is where you're developing people that can do what you do. At level four, people follow because of what you've done for them, because of what you've poured into them. At level four, you start to make some real money. At level four, you start to make full-time money in this game. At level four, I'm not going to attach a rank to it, but at level four, your bills are paid without even thinking about it, without even worrying about it, without even ever being anxious. Because at level four, people come to you. At level four, people message you on social media. At level four, people seek you out instead of other people because they know if they join you, if they join Arjo, if they join Dylan, or if they join Domenica, or if they join Kristen, or George, or Jasmine, or a lot of people on this call, or Matt, um, or Willie, or, or Zach, or if they know if they join you, they're going to grow. And as I'm talking, I want you to think about which level leader have I been? If you're not having duplication in your team, you're not a level four yet. Keyword yet. If you're the only one getting results in your team, then maybe you're just a level three. Now, how do I get to from three to four? Got to serve other people. Got to focus on helping other people. Guys, here's the trick. Don't worry about your numbers in, the, in, in volume and all that stuff. Focus on your team. At level four, you now take yourself out of the equation. You now are only focused on serving and serving and helping and seeing other people win. Drop the number one in the chat box if you understand what I'm saying so far. Because as you grow, as you mature, as you build this, right? I've been in this game for now almost six years. Do not compare your chapter one to my chapter 20. Right? Do not play that. That's a trap. But what I want you to understand and what I want to do is I want to save you time, right? It took me, right? It's, I've been in the game six years. So what I've learned in six years, I want, to, I want to help you avoid those mistakes and I want to help you see results instead of six years, you know, six months or, or, or 60 days, right? I want you to go faster. So at level four, your mentality, your Focus is on other people, and you will know you're a level four leader when people thank you, when people come up to you, when, pe when you start to indirectly affect people. And level five, and, and I feel like level five is a lifelong, right? A, a, John Maxwell says, he, you know, I, I believe he said, he said, I'm not, he says, people say I'm a level five leader but I'm continuing to show that I'm, I'm striving toward being a level five. Level five leader is called the pinnacle 
level of leadership. People follow because of who you are and what you represent, right? We, we can look at maybe an Alex Morton or, or an Yvonne Tapia or a Chris Terry or a David Aminiti and say, okay, those are level five leaders. People seek them out because they know if they join them, they know that if they get under their umbrella, they're going to have success. Here's, here's a great question I want to I ask you guys something. Have you ever been around somebody and you just feel bad and you just feel negative and you just feel like you're not worth anything? Drop the number two in the chat box. If you've ever been around negative people and then it starts to rub off, that's why your environment is so important. You see, it doesn't matter if your upline quits. It doesn't matter if somebody on your team thinks the grass is greener on the other side. It doesn't matter who's, who's negative around you. But you know what does matter? You know what you can control? Who you spend time with. And some of you have not reached the level of success you want in life because you're still holding on to the bags at the door. If you want to get up this level of leadership, if you want to increase your life, your income, the relationships around you, you are going to have to survey the people around you. You are going to have to take notice of who's holding you back. And guys, this is hard because my parents told me not to do this six years ago. Now you guys see my dad. I don't know if he's on this call right now, but you see him in the chat box every day doing meetings, trading. I mean, this guy, he's grown his account multiple, multiple, multiple four figures in the past month, multiple. And he started with a $200 account and he plugged into the products and he's having success. And his team is growing because he understands the five levels right here. All right, I'm not talking about trading right now. I'm gonna talk about it in a few minutes. I'm talking about how do you create residual income? How do you create $600 a month? How do you create $6,000 a month? See, you have to understand this. Some of you right now are at Platinum 600 and you're stuck. You're not stuck physically, you're stuck mentally, but I believe if you understand these five levels, you can grow and go to the next level, All right? Drop the number 777 if you wanna go to the next rank, if you wanna grow to the next rank, if you wanna grow your income. We got, how many weeks do we have left in this year? We have 10 weeks, I believe, let's see. We have eight, we have 10 weeks left in 2018. And some people are already planning what they're gonna start doing in January. Guys, October 1st, I decided I was going on a 90 day run. I've been on over 40 flights this year. I'll finish this year off with over 60 flights. You know, you guys don't wanna know how much money I spent last week on my tour. It, it is irrelevant because I understand that things happen in 90-day sprints, right? In 90-day bursts of energy. And these last 90 days, you have to be committed to what you said you were going to do because people are going to come into your life and try to distract you. A, a level one leader gets distracted and they leave the field. All right, Jim Rohn says, if you go, if you're in the field, if you start chasing the birds, you leave the field. A type two level leader what will stay in the field, but they'll doubt themselves. A level three leader will stay in the field. They'll keep planting. They'll keep planting. They'll keep planting. They'll keep planting. A level four leader will keep planting until they start to get results. And then, until they start to see other people get results. And at a level five leader is completely vision focused, right? Mission focused. Some people get attached to money and that's why they have none. Some people lose one trade. Oh, trading doesn't work. They lose one swipe trade. Oh, IML doesn't work. No, 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 no. You didn't work. You didn't have the right mindset coming into this. Yesterday, I was at a super Saturday with Mr. David and Minite. I was at a super Saturday yesterday with Mr. David and Minite. And I had, and I, and I had a, he didn't even say this, but I literally had a breakthrough or I had a thought that I'm gonna share with you guys tonight. And then we're gonna take a look at some charts. And I realized that some people 
are the right seed, right? All of us are seeds. When we get planted in the right environment, we grow. Some people are the right seed, right? You might be the right person to go Chairman 10. But listen to this. Some seeds get planted in the wrong soil. Whew. That's an Instagram. That's an Instagram quote right there. That's on Facebook tonight for some of you. Some people are the right seed, right? I was the right person that I believed I was years ago, but I was in the wrong vehicle, right? I was in the wrong company. I was in the wrong vehicle to get me to where I want to go. It's like some of you tonight, you guys are the right people. You know you're the right person. You know you should be having more success, but you're not in the right soil. You're not in the right environment. You're not on IML TV. You don't come to events. You're not hosting trade houses. You're not showing up to the meetings. So you're the right person in your eyes, but you're simply not planted in the right environment. And I don't care who you are, anybody can have success here in iMarkets Live. Anybody can go Chairman 10 with some desire, some belief, and some work ethic. You know the difference between the person that goes chairman and the person that gives up? They both could have been the right people, but one decided that they were not going to stop until the job got done. Some of you at Platinum 2000, your family's lives will change forever. on top of what you make at your job, an extra 24 to 30 grand a year, your entire family's lives will change forever. Some of you at Platinum 5,000, that'll happen. Some of you at Chairman 10, some of you at Chairman 25, I don't know your situation, but what I do know, and I don't speak from theory, if you've been on a training that I've done, I don't speak from that theory game, right? We got results and we have stuff to back that up, right? You can only talk about something for so long until people go, okay, well, where's the result at? Right? Judge a fruit. Judge a man by the fruit that they bear. Where, where, are the, where are the results at, Johnny? Where are the results at? So you can only lie to somebody for so long. So before we end this call, before we start looking at some, stuff, some charts, briefly, if you want to increase your results these last 10 weeks, if you want to start... A, a new year some of you need some new friends some of you need a new environment and some of you need to take some new action I am a believer that if you take enough action over a long period of time you will acquire you will obtain progression you will have progress in your life All right Tony Robbins or whatever you want to say uh, Earl Nyega said, said progression progression uh, progress equals happiness, basically. Success is the progression reali progressive realization of a worthy ideal. So when you're progressing, you're happy. Some people don't see progress because they don't take action, right? Look at the word attraction. What, what's the, what, what word is here? What does this word say? action so if you want to attract the results in your life if you want to become a level three four five leader you have to take action chairman does not happen by accident write this down write this down right now post this on instagram stories if you want success does not happen by accident success is planned for right David Amitia said yesterday, he said, I didn't just hope I would go Chairman 500. I knew exactly what I needed to do. I knew exactly who I needed to help. Success does not happen by accident. It wasn't an accident, Chairman, for me, happened in seven months. It wasn't an accident Dylan Maya went Platinum 2000, going Platinum 5000. It's not an accident when you see Project 500 have 5,000 active people in it in the next 18 months. It's not going to be an accident. It's all planned for. Last thing I'm going to say on this topic. Create a plan, then work the plan. 
Most people have not done number one, right? They do not have a calendar. They have not planned out the week. You know what Jim Rohn said about that? He said, if you don't create a plan for your life, you will fall into somebody else's plan. Andrew, Alex, Adam, Arjun, Dylan, Domenica, Isaiah. If you don't create your plan for your life and your family, you will fall into somebody else's plan. And here's the bad news. They don't have much planned for you. So tonight, before you go to bed, Arjun, bro, my bad. Before you go to bed, what's going to happen this week? How many pips are you going to catch this week? Do you have a plan? Do you know what trades you're going to get into? Don't wake up tomorrow morning saying, all right, life, let's see what happens. Not a lot is going to happen. Sorry to burst your bubble. So I hope, this got, hope you guys got some value. If you guys want, take a picture of this. You can also Google five levels of leadership. I highly recommend uh, John Maxwell, you can read this uh, book or you can read The Leadership Bible by John Maxwell. Highly recommend that book. If you guys want to take a quick screenshot of this or take a picture, uh, go ahead. So ask yourself, which level leader am I? Am I acting like? So success does not happen by accident. Success is planned for. People plan to have success, right? Kevin Hart was rejected for 17 years, but he planned that one day he was going to get the opportunity and he did. So success does not happen by accident. It is planned for. John Maxwell is the GOAT. So ask yourself today, which level leader am I acting like? As you grow your organization, as you grow a customer base, as you grow this, 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 this team, focus at the top of these levels. Focus on reproducing, focus on duplicating yourself. But sometimes we need to be real with ourselves. We need to be honest with ourselves. We cannot tell people we, we got their back and we're gonna help them and then go act like a level two leader or level one leader. Your reputation takes years to build and in seconds it can be destroyed. I want to let you know that. I'm going to say that one more time. Your reputation can take years to build, and in seconds, it can completely be destroyed. So when you bring somebody into iMarkets Live, help them, right? When you, look, if you had the, if you signed me up, you took the initiative to sign me up. Now help me get started. Now help me launch this business. If you have the ability to get somebody started, you better have the time and the ability to help them launch. You better have the ability to sit down with them for 30 minutes and set up their products. And, and, and for those that know me or have been on my calls before, I am not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm only going to tell you what you need to hear. And I hope that's okay with everybody. So let's take a look at some, some charts. Uh, at 11 o'clock Eastern, we have a lot of people that just joined this call. You got to go watch the replay. Correct. Somebody said, be better than your upline. 100%. Guys, my first like year, year in, the, in the industry, I didn't have an upline, to be honest. I had running partners, but they weren't my uplines. I didn't have people in my area that, that I could send people to and they would close them off. No, I didn't have that. I had to be the upline that I never had for a very long time uh, in my business, right? So if you're in a city or a, or a country or an area where maybe you don't have that like support that you think you need, guess what? You create it. Go upline and get the, get the advice, get the, get the game plan, but don't complain why you're not having success. All right. Awesome. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, tomorrow night, South Florida, we are having an event with Lozaldo, with Luke Longmire at the brand new office. Make sure you get plugged in. Tomorrow and Wednesday, we have a Forex training with them. They're going to be teaching how to use these products. So let's see if there's any teacups, right? It's always pretty funny. I sat down with a prospect today on Zoom. I said, all right, let's look for the teacups. He said, what? I said, watch this. All right, let's look. Go to the one hour.
All right, well, this just hit right now. So uh, this is gold. Well, all right. You guys can take this. It was on this candle. Hit the sell limit. Let's see here. Let's look at it on a higher time frame. Somebody in the chat box. Gold sell twelve thirty. I don't really trade gold, to be honest but it is at the teacup level. So if you're gonna take this trade, uh, you can, it's really a one-to-one -one risk to reward. I think price could, could pull back up higher, but it, it is testing that sell limit area. So let's see here. Coming off this 23.6. 12.16 was a retest for the buy. Personally, I'm not going to sell this because I see this trend line here. This thing could come back up here, hit the stop loss like it did here. So personally, I'm not going to take this. Let's see if there's any Forex uh, pairs. Why is this not loading? Yeah. I wouldn't, I'm not going to buy this right now. One second, guys. Let's see. Too many people on Gold Cup. Let's see. All right, is only get, we're on, what are we on? At 11 o'clock, they will go over some pairs. I'm just seeing what's on Gold Cup and what's on the scanner. And if we get any trades, we can call them out. I was just looking at, why is it only showing gold? All right, we're gonna come back to Gold Cup. Let's take a look at the harmonic scanner. All right, let's see. USDCHF. Okay, this is what somebody was saying. One, two, three, four, five. So this is uh, one of the educators. He teaches the strategy, guys, if you guys wanna write this down. Um, five Bollinger Bands, 50 and two is the first Bollinger Band, 50. And 2.5 is the second Bollinger Band. We can go over the rules real quick. Let's see if we get any trades. Uh, 50 and three is the third Bollinger Band. 50 and 3.5, you guessed correct. I think that hit two Bollinger Bands. And 50 and four. Okay, so the rules must hit the entry point, must hit two Bollinger Bands, and we must get a bearish candle on a sell, bullish candle on a buy. So let's see here. Yep, thank you, Mariano, for dropping the, uh, the coordinates or whatever you want to call them. Okay, so we got one Bollinger Band, right? Letter D was the red candle. It pushed back up. We got a sharp pattern. All right, let's see. 
this being formed at the double top right there. All right, so definitely a major area. Let's move this. So definitely, look, you guys see price was reacting a lot in this area in the past. This is the one hour USD CHF. I don't trade this pair, but this thing formed at a triple top. All right, let's see here. We need to get a bearish candle because the letter D on the close of this candle was our entry or was, was letter D. We need to get another bearish candle before we enter this trade. According to the rules, we would not take this trade yet. But some of you are going to take this trade because the risk to award, if you entered right now, that is a 16 pip stop loss. Take profit one is 40 pips. Take profit two, about 70 pips. I would wait for a bearish candle or maybe let's look at the one hour real quick. Yeah, so it didn't hit hit one Bollinger Band. We did get a bearish candle. This could be a retest. I actually do like this trade. Possibly to take profit one. USD CHF moves weird. Risk to award is not bad, but I would wait for it to come down. I'll wait for a bearish candle or watch what it does here, All right? See, see what it does here. If it doesn't break that. Looks like it's gonna go retest that. That's a bad line. Cause it did come up, watch the retest there. Let's see what else we got here on the scanner. EuroCAD one hour. EuroCAD was very bullish last month, uh, last week. Canadian news with the whole legalization of weed. We might see this thing come down. So here it hits the entry. We get a bearish candle. This, according to the rules, would have been a great sell. So you had entry, it hit all the Bollinger Bands, bearish candle. You'd be up like 16 pips if you took the trade. I don't know if you should, I don't think you should enter now. It could pull back up. But if it does pull back up to this entry, I would take it at the first entry. Stop loss, 78 pips. This is another weird moving pair, 100 pip take profit. So about a one to, one to 3.5 risk to award, not bad. Wait, it, I believe we can come back up and test this before going down. I think is this on a four hour as well. GBP CAD. All right, this is done. But as you can see here, so you guys, you know, understand these rules. It hit the entry. It hit two Bollinger Bands. Now this was a one hour candle. So th this in one hour hit take profit one and two. So this was just, this was 83 pips in five hours, 144 pips. Let me see something here. X to D. All right, so that trade's done with. Let's see if we get anything on the 15 minute. GBP, JPY, this trade is too late. 29 pips, it's already up. 20, 20, 26 pips in profit, 15 minute.
the, the three rules from what I understand work best on one hour, four hour. But I guess you can use them on the 15 minutes. So this hit no Bollinger Bands, but it came down and this thing already smashed, take profit. 50 pips, pulled back. Inverted head and shoulders here. Close. Let's see something right here. Fib. Your USD might be a good re-entry for to come take it up to here. Yeah. I think it's gonna go to that 618. I see EU coming up here and testing. The 61.8, yep. This is a one hour, we have a four hour chart here. Yep. Inverted head and shoulders. Shoulder, head, shoulder. Come up here. We got Kyle on the call. Kinda. Bullish candle, shot up, retest. Overall. Hit the entry. Didn't hit the second Bollinger Band, bullish candle. You could have entered this trade based on those three rules. Yeah, I see EU coming up here and then possibly continuing down. So guys, at 11 o'clock Eastern, uh, we're gonna have some traders going over some charts using the products. Uh, and on trading view as well. So I don't want to keep you guys. There's a, a seven figure mentorship call at 11 o'clock. Hope you guys got some value from this call. Remember, you want to be a level five leader tomorrow night, South Florida, whoever brings four guests or more is going, is getting a success planner uh, from me. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great week. Let's get to work. Understand you guys are one decision away, one person away from an explosion in your business. And you're one phone call away from completely changing your life and possibly somebody else's life. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Uh, Seven-figure mentorship call, I believe, with Jewel Tankard, iMarketsLiveOfficial.com in nine minutes. 11 o'clock Eastern, make sure you're on Project 500 and you will get a Zoom link. Let's slam that Zoom link. Uh, get your trading views uh, accounts ready and uh, your charts ready. And we will see you guys at 11 o'clock. Have a great night, guys.